<laughs> okay, um, my name is Brian and I'm with the Chocolate Escape in Wab Wabshaw, Minnesota. And the tool that I have here that you're looking at is called the Monolillo, which was ornately designed and, and decorated in a very uh, common utility tool for the Aztecs and Mayans to make their hot cocoa. Uh, which is very different than we know ours today. Um, when the Spanish brought it to the Ameri Americas, it was very um, foo-fooized, I guess I call it, <laughs> by the time you had all the milk and sugar, this, that, and the other. Aztecs and the Mayans and the Indians used to grind nibs on a matate and grind in hot peppers, and then, then they would, this would be like their whisk. And you can hear that all these pieces move and they have openings in them, air passages so that it aerates, mixes, and foams the hot cocoa. And then they, of course, would sweeten it with honey rather than sugar. So that was known to be a much, much healthier hot cocoa than it was from when the Spanish brought it to the Americas and it was sweetened. Of course, ours is sweetened with, uh, with milk and, of course, with sugar. And this is the American version of hot chocolate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not as healthy. <laughs> so when you read up about the history and you find out that Montezuma's rumored to live hundreds of years and he drank gallons of hot chocolate a day, it was not the gallons that we know of today as hot chocolate. Again, it was a healthy version, which is extremely high in antioxidants, flavonoids, and auric count. They're therefore very healthy. So that's a little history of hot cocoa. Now these nibs are inside the cocoa beans? Inside I the thought it was the, the cocoa There's a cocoa cake. pod, uh -huh. and then inside the pod is the beans and the pulp. You ferment the beans in the pulp, you dry them, and you roast them, and then a machine opens the beans, and inside are the nibs. Okay. The nibs are what is ground up, and then you add sugar and vanilla to the ground cocoa to make chocolate. And of course, if it's white chocolate or milk chocolate, they also add milk. Excellent, excellent. So, and the lighter the chocolate, the sweeter it is, and typically the less the cocoa. And the darker, the less sugar, and the healthier, because of course, the more cocoa, the more flavonoids, antioxidants, and more account, and the healthier it is. So cocoa itself really is a superfood, very, very healthy. It's all in what you select when you shop. Oh, that's a good idea. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.